Hey guys, I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios, and today I'm going to be reacting to my little unicorn, Miss Angelica Hale. She is the two-time Golden Buzzer winner for America's Got Talent. That's never happened before, folks. She's the only one. Just saying, a little proud, proud coach moment here. Yes, I'm Angelica's coach, and I have been asked so many times ever since actually the first season that she was on AGT to review her. I've avoided it because I'm her coach, but she has made history now, and so I can't avoid it any longer, and she said I could. So we're going to be reviewing Angelica's impossible performance from AGT Champions. Here we go. Look at that little tiny body on that big stage. Yes. Yes. All right, all right, all right. Let's have a conversation about what just happened here, okay? Um, first of all, when I first saw her performance, now, of course, we chose this song, we worked on this song prior to, I knew it was happening, right? This is not, this is unlike most reactions I've done because again, she's a student of mine, we have worked on this. This is not something that I'm not familiar hearing, okay? So that's, that's first and foremost. But having said that, when I saw this, when I saw this aired, because I wasn't there when they filmed it, um, I saw something different in Angelica that I hadn't seen really ever in her in her performances. Maybe glimpses of it in our lessons, but this this like determined fire in her eyes that you saw just now, I was like, oh my goodness, she's growing up. She's like she's like a little adult in there in that little body. Um, and I thought, okay, this is gonna, this is gonna, it's about to be real. It's about to be really cool. Um, this performance for me uh, was extremely impressive because um, we've talked about, I think in previous videos, not even just with Angelica, but other singers, how you can be in a lesson and you can execute great, but when you get on stage and adrenaline kicks in, there's a difference. And there can be a big difference, in fact. Um, what's so impressive to me about both of Angelica's champion performances is that everything that we did, and I mean it, I'm not just saying it, because I am brutally honest, but everything that we did in our sessions, she did on the stage. Um, that's hard, and that's really impressive. And so I, I want you to know that each of these vocal patterns and designs, we painstakingly, methodically planned out and we went, we went through with a fine tooth comb and made sure that every note that we were singing capitalized on, on showcasing her voice to the best of our ability because it's a widely televised show, it's a chance for great exposure, and it's a competition after all. So every note that you sing has to mean something. Um, and so when she, when she did the tell them um, and went up to that run, the placement there, perfect, perfectly placed. You can see even when you're watching her in a still frame, her stance, um, that's called the singer stance. It's what we do here at TSS. It's part of Sing Smart Not Harder. She is centered, she's grounded. So where she draws her energy from is from the ground up, not from the top down. Um, that centeredness comes from a good low breath and that allows her to have, when she, when she engages her ab, that allows her to have the support she needs to force the air out, which then forces the sound out, which causes her abs to work harder than her larynx or her vocal cords, which gives her more stamina, more power, and costs her less. Um, all of these things are necessary for her to get through a song like this that we remade into a really difficult and vocally challenging song, I would say even more so than the original song, for three minutes and 17 seconds or whatever it is, okay? Um, so we're gonna back it up a little bit so you can hear the build up again now that you know a little bit more of what went into it. That face right there. That big breath. Look at her stance. See that scrunched nose? That beautiful forward placement. Yes, and then switching to head. 
Yes, nice clear rip. Yes. Nice slide up to the end. Yes. Breathe. Okay. I want you to watch her breathe there on hoped, would, be. Okay, that's something we did very intentionally. So here's why. When you're on a stage, again, and adrenaline's happening, it's really easy to get winded. She's got some long holds coming up. And so what I wanted her to do was over oxygenate beforehand so that when she needed breaths later on in just a couple seconds, her body already had a lot of it to begin with so the need for it later wouldn't be as great. Rather than just breathe kind of casually and lackadaisically here and then have to take some serious longer intentional breaths when she doesn't really have the time for it later in the phrasing as the song is about to progress. So we're going to go back and watch her hoped would. She breathed on those spaces as if she really needed the breath, but she didn't because they're just one notes, right? But as you hear her sing what she's about to sing, you're going to understand why she took the type of breath she took right here. That? Long hold. Little quick catch breath. Quick catch breath. And then big breath here. Into. Whistle. What a great end to it as well. Yes, honey, yes, 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 yes. Let's listen to what the judges have to say on this one. And there's her family, so proud. Love the hails. Perfectly executed. She did such a great job. And how he loves her. He's got such a soft an spot in his heart. The song lives up to its name. You know, impossible. You're only 11 years old. I don't know. I mean, she's 11 going on 30, though, by the way. A winner. So mature. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have to say, that was such an obvious improvement since we last saw you. And I could see how committed you were and then how relieved you were at the end that you got everything right. And, and she did get everything real. right. Well done. Diamond. Uh, I've said this to you and a lot of other people who've come back and compete again. To me, you deserve so much respect just for doing that. Yes. Because it showed me how much you really, really wanted this. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Unicorn, so proud of her. Um, yeah, so she she's such she's such a trooper, you know. I mean, an eleven year old on this stage doing what she's doing twice uh, for the show is amazing. And you know, um, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of mental fortitude and confidence to handle the scrutiny and and even 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 the love. You know, the amount of, of love that people have and the attention that you get and. Um, I tell you from personal experience because I work with her week in and week out that she is the same exact sweet little girl um, with a bubbly personality and a wise old soul inside as you see on stage. Um, she's working on some really exciting things that we're, uh, that we're very excited about coming up in the near future and um, we can't wait for you to hear what she's, what she's got cooking because it's really cool stuff. Um, so if you're looking to sing like Angelica, I would be happy to help you. Um, and if you want to be reacted to, like I'm reacting to these videos, that's a thing now too. What? You can do that. So instareactions.com is where it's at. You can click on that link below. There's three things in the description box. That's the first. The second is an eight week course of mine called Sing Smarter, Not Harder. It's exactly what I use to coach Angelica and all of my other celebrity students as well as our students here at TSS on the local end and around the world. So you can click on that link below and check out the Sing Smarter Not Harder eight week course as well. And if you're looking for private lessons like Angelica does or like our other students do at TSS, we can do them virtually online all over the world. Doesn't matter what time zone you're in. You can do it via Zoom, FaceTime, Skype, whatever. 
We do a lot of hotel room voice lessons because Angelica is everywhere in the world singing and I'm super proud of her for that. Um, so it doesn't matter where you are in the world, we can definitely help you. My coaches and I are here for you. You can click on that link below as well. It is not impossible. You can learn how to sing and you can learn how to sing smarter, not harder. And with that guys, I'll see you on the next one.